Um, I think you're right. I think you guys manhandle the boat a little bit. You know, you beat on it a little, and I think in, in certain conditions that that gets you a lot. But I think uh, I think you guys obviously have been doing this a long time on these specific boats, and you're very very smooth and almost, shall I say, it dainty. I appreciate that, Clean. <laughs> we we've spent a lot of time over the last uh, five or six years now sailing together on these boats, and and we've been very careful working our way up through because our our testing system doesn't allow for any kind of failure, so we slowly put more pressure on the boat, and I think that's helped contribute to being a, fairly smooth in the boat. But I, I got to tell you, I think these guys are very fast in the corners, and and we've been complaining they're faster than us. So um, maybe it's a bit both ways. So it's it's it's. Uh, it's pretty close, I think, in the maneuvering. All right. Well, the, the, the obligatory... Give me, Ameri- give me a big, long downwind. That's what we uh, I, Look, I, look in, in the first race, we're, you know, we're watching, and, and we both, we, we both, me and JC, set at the line. I think Fred needed about another half mile, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what we were looking for, <laughs> too, <laughs> but <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> wasn't giving it to us. Oh, it's, and it's got to hurt, Jimmy. I mean, you know, you, you can see that, that, uh, that between technique and, and, a, and a more advanced wing and a more advanced platform, you know, downwind in this breeze anyway, um, there's not much you can do. So, so what's your strategy for tomorrow? Uh, the, the forecast at the moment is for lighter air. Mate, I'm just going to pray for wind tonight and uh, hope for 15 to 20 knots. But no, I think look, we've just got to keep doing what we're doing. And look, even when the conditions, the sights. even when the conditions are like they were, you know, probably those last couple of that last race, it's still not a bad day. You know, I mean, it's a lot of fun and it's a, you know, it's a privilege to be here sailing against Fred in these boats. Um, and it's a pretty good result for Fred and his team to get the, you know, the two boats in the final. Um, out of a lot of these boats that are brand new and new wings as well, um, it says a lot about their program and how they've gone about it. Yeah. Um, Fred, uh, you know, your team working a lot, you know, not, not just on your wing, which hasn't actually had much issues, but, uh, you know, Rob and Dan, <laughs> they're working all night, and then they're coming in and working all night again. Um, but they're still finding time to do what they need to do for you. Um, I mean, wh- how do you find these guys, and, and what do they mean to your team? They, the, the guys who make the team are the guys who do the work when we get to shore. Rossi, Rob, Dan, and uh, the two mats are just doing an unbelievably good job because they're, they're, they're looking after our wing, they're looking after uh, Jimmy and Glenn's wing, and they're looking after their own wing, which has been down twice in this regatta. <laughs> and, and Rob was up all night last night, and then he was out sailing again today, and he's doing some repairs right now. It's just fantastic, and... I, I really admire the effort the guys are putting in. They're they're doing a, just all you could ask, and uh, I really appreciate it. Well, this is a class that has taken over people's lives uh, in the past. It's it's created obsessions, and I think you know not only have you become obsessed, obviously, um, but you have an entire uh, army of people really in Canada who become obsessed with this whole thing, and and, and it's it's a great thing to see for us, Jimmy. Uh, uh, you know. How about murmurings of, of an Austra- real Australian challenger for the next one, uh, an Australian built and designed challenger? What have you? T- I'm sure you've heard some stuff or talked to some people. Uh, I know that that whether you win or lose, um, you're going to have to do something about it. Am I right? Oh, definitely. I mean, we'd love to come back here and uh, you know take Fred on again. And 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 really, I mean, it's been great because Fred's probably re-injected all this enthusiasm back into the class. You know, and and now we, we see where it's at now. And I think that's a good stepping stone now to hopefully, you know, ex- get some excitement and stimulate a bit of interest um, in these other countries to help, you know, uh, just build the fleet a bit because it's just a fantastic class. It's a real development class, and it, it is leading the leading technology in sailing. You know, these wings make our wing on the trimaran look like a, um, you know, more like pretty agricultural. You know, and I'm going to say a weed whacker. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think our, our designers and that will say that. Not that it wasn't an engineering, you know, masterpiece, but the level of detail and sophistication of these wings is, you know, is second to none. So, no, mate, we'd love to, we'd love to come back and, and see some interest there. I mean, there's been a lot of history of Australia, you know, being involved in this, in this event. So, um, mate, I'd love to, and, and who knows, you know, depending which way the cup goes, it, um, you know, it could be a chance. I ran a story that I heavily researched that we know which way the cup's going, and I'm not going to ask you to comment because I know you're not going to, uh, but all, all the indicators and all the inside guys that email me because they don't like their bosses, uh, those guys are saying that, that the deal is done and that we're going to see these boats. I'm not actually going to ask you guys about that right now. I'm going to save that for a little later. Let you guys go get some sleep and come out fighting tomorrow. And uh, Will we see any, tra- any paint traded this regatta? 
I hope not. <laughs> Jimmy? I, I own both sides of the collision, so I'm not <laughs> looking to avoid a collision if we can. I, ma- I imagine he's insured. No. <laughs> not for these boats. <laughs> Might be well, maybe he is, but... <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, what do you think? I mean, I mean, is there a possibility you guys are going to well, bump? There's a possibility. We were out pretty close today a couple yeah. of times. I certainly put in put us into a very nice port starboard where we <laughs> thought we had no reason to be there. And uh, Glenn saved the day for both boats, and that was pretty nice. But... Uh, um, the maneuvering's close. There's a possibility, but uh, nobody really wants the boats to come together, right? We're having a good time. Well, you, okay, maybe nobody does, but at, at well, the same maybe time, maybe some of the spectators. Boy, do, I'll, I'll tell you what. Want to be on the yeah, a dial down, a dial down at 20 knots of boat speed would be an interesting thing for me to see. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but hopefully, you guys can keep it all together and, and have some good fun racing tomorrow. And uh, I can't, you know, the, the attitude is just flawless. That you guys are pulling it off. You pulled it off. You pulled it off, and it's uh, it's great to see. So, well, thank you for. I think it's also important to say that Steve Clark has done a lot. Right, Absolutely. we're following Steve's lead on on opening the class up to, uh, so that everybody can see what's happening and all that. And I think that's contributed a real lot. It's made it easy enough for us to come in and be competitive, and uh, and it's got a lot of the other teams in. I think it's a big part of why other people are interested in the class right now. Yeah. So Steve needs some congratulations on that too. I think for sure, certainly his uh, his crash generated a lot of interest, and <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah. So uh, uh, anyway, guys, thanks, and we'll talk again soon. Have a great race tomorrow. Thanks, Lee. All right, Cheers, guys. Thanks. Anarchy!